go down to the chart breakdowns, we thought it was wise to share with you some education about the forex trading industry, both for the investor and for the retail trader. Two weeks ago, I and Caleb had a meeting with the Capital Markets Authority, and in the meeting we got to discuss about the forex industry, some of the good things that were going on and some of the bad things that were going on. Highlighting on some of the bad things that were going on were that there were traders who were trading for other people without acquiring a license, and there were brokers who were trying to act as brokers without acquiring also the license. There's only one broker who has been regulated in Kenya, and it's EGM Securities. You can also do your due diligence on that. For the investors, guys, before you, for the, both for the investor and for the retail trader, I think it is wise before you start even trading for you to familiarize yourself with the Capital Markets Act. These are the regulations that you'll be going through, and these are the regulations that you'll be working under. Under these regulations, there are some of the key clauses, like you cannot trade binary options, you cannot invest or manage other people's money without acquiring a license, you cannot serve as a broker without getting a license, and there are also other things before you get the license you need to meet. So some of those are some of the clauses. For the investors, guys, before you give out your hard-earned cash, because you have worked for your money and someone comes to you and tells you there's this thing trading and you can make some few chips and it's a good idea and you can make money. But before you give out your money, understand that the, the person needs to meet the necessary qualifications for you to give them your money. Otherwise, guys, you're operating in an environment which is... If, if you give your money and you, are, you, have not, you have not yet gone through the regulations and you have not yet gone through the qualifications, you're doing it illegally, guys. And you face you, you might face jail term of around six months for the several laws that you'll be breaking. So those are the few regulations that I'll perhaps highlight for you guys. Take your time and go through the regulations, both for the investor and for the retail trader. For us, we took the time. You can also visit the Capital Markets Authority. Their offices are situated in Upper Hill, just right after TSC. When you are light at TSC, their, op their offices are just there. And when you get there, those guys are really friendly. They'll get to share with you the information and they'll get to highlight to you everything that you need to meet for in order for you to become my money manager and understand the speculation business. Another thing that I'd highlight is for the traders and for the investors, guys, we are the ones who are responsible for cleaning up the industry and making sure that whatever we are doing is right and legal. It's always an uphill task for you to do the right thing, guys, but always remember, long term, it pays. So that's just the, one of the few things that we'll share with you. And I think now I'll just go down to the chat breakdowns.